My Wood Turn 3 actually costs $55 on Amazon. Not, it's actually amazing for three consoles in one. Alright, now, on with the review! Start it! He's gonna take you back to the past. He's gonna take you back to the past. Okay, so you got your Retron 3 here. It has power button, the little knob between NES, Genesis, and SNES. It's also got the little reset button. And uh, this is the thing for NES, SNES, oh no wait, this is Genesis, and this is SNES. And uh, now a bunch of people complained on these controllers. It's not as bad as I thought, but still. Um, it gives you the option to uh, use the classic controllers just in case you're not you don't like these. Like uh, you can plug in the NES controllers here, the Super Nintendo controllers here, and the Genesis controllers there. You can also plug in the Atari controllers, but I don't think that would work. But but well, it won't work. But still, you can use it. But still, you can plug it in. But you just can't use it. Because the Genesis and the Atari ports are exactly the same. Alright, now what we have here is... The stuff. Okay, and it gives you the option of S-Video. Which my TV uh, doesn't have, but the one in the living room does. You can also use S-Video to hook up to your computer. I'm not sure if that's true or not. And uh, you got your standard little composite cables, and you got your power cord, well, AC adapter, oh, and uh, the only reason that I got this thing is because I know, I know that some of you don't know this, but I, I don't think any of you knows this, well, some of you don't know this, I actually have a real NES right there but why would I get th that that I can play the NES again well that's because I couldn't find a console that had just the Genesis and Super Nintendo and uh, this is my only option that I could play both Super Nintendo and Genesis on and uh, it's not a bad console it's actually a good console and uh, after this video, I might actually review the games that I got with them. No, I, get, I didn't get with them. I bought them separately. But, uh, so that's the Rectron 3 for you. And, uh, that's it for this video. Bye. Oh, yeah, and I also forgot. Um, I could play Famicom games, Super Famicom games. And, uh, I'm not sure if I can play Mega Drop games, but all I know is that... Well, if you don't know what they are, they are the Japanese versions of these consoles. And, uh, yeah. So just to let you know, you can play those. I'm not sure if you can play Japanese Sega Genesis games. I'm not sure if there is a Japanese Sega Genesis. I'm pretty sure there is, but I'm just not sure. And, uh, yeah, that's just what I forgot to add. Oh, yeah, and I... And you also can't switch between the controllers. You see the little dot? You can only... This is meant for one player. And it's wireless. So you can't switch. It's infrared. So you kind of like have to be... Kind of like in front of the restaurant. Free. It's not as bad as I thought. You can, you just can't like be like below. You can be like 
anywhere over here, I guess, but I don't know. And, uh, the only difference between the original consoles that I noticed is that, um, the original consoles, it's actually lighter, but on the Retron 3, the screen is darker for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm using the composite cables. I don't, I'll never know, probably, unless I use S-Video, which can work on either my com- I think it works on my computer, and it works on the TV in the living room. So, yeah. Bye!